Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's a Mac here. Welcome back to a sort of let's play of uh, the Nuba Front 85 War Game Design Studio game, and John Tiller Legacy game as well. Right, so I made a video about the introduction to this game and showed a bit of what scenarios it comes with it, what campaigns. You had a look at some of the graphics, dive into the folder, check some stuff out. All right, so this is going to be a, a sort of a Let's play, let's pick a scenario here and duke it out and see how it goes. And uh, for you who are interested, you can see some mechanics of the game and maybe get more intrigued, basically. Right, so uh, I haven't actually decided yet, um, So, uh, but I have been looking a bit that actually comes with the game. We have been gone over that before. I was, there's, there's quite a lot of... Um, short scenarios in this game actually which is pretty cool some quick battles uh, but the main meat of the game is definitely the the big campaigns here that comes with it so the first couple there are just sort of uh, learning the ropes different mechanics of the game and then you got these big chunks here you got the west germany here it's 161 turns there and you got the Nuba front there is another 161 and you have uh, a short version of that. And you have uh, the Nuba Front Austria as well. So three different fronts there covered in the game. Um, we're not going to do that, of course. <laughs> 161 turns, quite quite a long time there. So the first one that comes off here, the, so the, the game kicks off sort of the 10th of June there, 1985. It's a what if the Warsaw actually attacked NATO and it was a big World War Three basically broke out so and funny enough that's where we actually we're standing today now that the uh, Russian aggression towards Ukraine there is uh, picking up and everything is looking kind of shaky so uh, what better to show something from 1985 <laughs> uh, we got some different weaponry today for sure than we had back in 1985 but still it would probably be a somewhat close representation of what could happen i guess uh so the bat the bat kissing uh, they have uh, quite a quite a lot here they have some head-to-head -head scenarios they have the stock one they have the alternate one and they have something called nato here just when it's intended to be played from the NATO side, yeah. Okay. Fourth Arden, 12 turns there. Uh, I had a look at this. This was kind of short and sweet here. It's called Coburg. Tale of Two Cities. Warsaw Pact versus the AI. And that's the only one. So you get to play the, the Warsaw there. Um, there. There's a stock one and there's an alternate one. So maybe... The alternate one is better. I don't know. Could be. It's a revised scenario there. Is it edited? Could, could be more interesting, I guess. Uh, so you have the additional information can be found in the uh, alternate campaign change document. Yes. Yeah, so we have we had a look at that, and that basically is these recommended rules. Now, for they look to be actually exactly the same as the. What's recommended on the stock one there uh, so might as well just do the stock one and see how that goes All right so we got um, it's a small scenario so eight turns it's pretty fast action going here we got um, Maine and its river valleys 45 kilometers north of Nuremberg there he's intent to play Warsaw Pact versus the AI so the scenario briefing NATO uh, was under some this is actually taking, yeah, it's taking place at 10th, yeah, so it's the same sort of invasion date, so to, so to speak, there, so. Uh, so the NATO was under some pressure from the West German government to give up ground uh, as easily as had been happening in the first few hours of the battle. The Germans were fighting for their homeland, not some foreign country where they were posted for a couple of years. In the area north of Nuremberg, the ancient city of Coburg had already been given up, and the next historic city to go would be Bamberg, unless some sort of action was taken. Uh, it was decided to use troops already in the area to blunt the 20th Motor Rifle Division's advance. 
at least until Bamberg could be more readily defended. All right, so that's sort of straightforward assault there from the uh, Warsaw. So I guess we've we got to get eight turns there, so it's going to be pretty fast movement there. All right, so the recommended rules are the default ones. All right, we're going to be playing the Warsaw as it's requested, I mean recommended. Rules is going to be default there. We've got artillery, we've got recon, we've got virtual supplies, we've got night fatigue, program weather, blocking helicopter elimination, low visibility air effects, quality, limited air recon, and counter battery fire. All right, let's go. Uh, all right. All right, here we go. Wars of Pack Command report. Air units are available. Okay. Persistent chemical ammo is one. Yeah, I went over the, um, the chemical and the, I mean, the weapons of mass destruction. Uh, in the introductory video there, I'm not sure we're going to be able, going to be using those. Uh, we got persistent chemical ammo, which is not that ideal, especially not firing it on objective hexes, because you're going to have to go in there yourself. Three air units recovered losses. Okay, all right, here we go. So this is the the. Um, Zoom out to the air. So we're going to be playing this new crisp. I mean, I guess you could play a, a, um, the um, like this as well. Um, it's all right. Prefer to play it like this though. All right, so here we go. So I'm Warsaw. We've got plenty of forces here. Uh, so we look at some stuff before. So look at definitely look at the victory. What we need here. All right, we got zero points. We need. 600 or more to get a major victory here, which means uh, there's not that many objectives. What do we got here? We have we got a 50 points there. We got a hundred, 150, 175 points worth of victory, which is nowhere near a major. Okay, we we do have this. This is worth 75 in, in the bottom there. So 250 points. It's not enough to uh, get a major for sure. Uh, so we need to destroy a lot of the uh, German Germans. It's going to be the Germans present here, I guess, and some American forces as well. But there's going to be some German forces as well defending here. And uh, yes, we need we need probably take out a shitload of stuff to uh, and not take that much that many casualties ourselves uh, what is the parameter data looking like here what do we got we got actually what time is it now it starts 12 o'clock so noon 10th of June there normal conditions day okay um, so we'll look here all right so it's dawn is at three dusk at six o'clock there we've got three hour turns wow three hours okay so has dawn and dusk turns yes a thousand men is a limit stacking into the roads otherwise it's 1800 there okay we got some miscellaneous stuff uh, the uh sam interdiction is 20 percent it's pretty high air interdiction is 10 and the uh, Warsaw air availability is 25% only. Okay, interesting. We've got bridge. We don't need, probably not need any bridges in this scenario. Air limits. We've got artillery values. About the same, both sides there. Combat losses per thousand combat. Uh, value okay uh, deception values trains there's a lot of stuff in this uh, okay, some, lots about movements uh, okay combat combat modifiers improved trench bunker hex sides Escarpment minus 40 there, all right. Okay, so some interesting stuff there. Um, all right, so what do we got here? What's going on? We got the headquarters way back there. What's this? Okay, this is 20th Attack Hilo Squadron Headquarters, man. 
right? It looks like we only have one squadron of choppers on board here. We got six attack helo squadrons. These MI-24 heavy, big, like, gunship Russian-style helicopters there. <laughs> pretty, pretty big, well-armed, heavily armored choppers there. So they got 36 versus hard. They got a range of two there. All right, they're part of the first guard tank army there. We got six choppers. That's all we got. Okay, what's this? This is the 20th guard um, division headquarters here. 20th guards, MRD Berlin. Okay. Morale D. Okay, out of command. It's not good. Uh, okay, where, what do we got? So we got some forces spread up in the north here. We have... What do we got? We got these BRMs, these armored recon units. Sort of decent versus hard targets there. Soft. Pretty good defense. Salt is pretty low. So these are like armored recon infantry there. They got some T-64s, tanks, with them. Uh, 29 there. We're taking some losses here. 30 hard. 25 assaults, pretty good. Defense, 32 there. We have 30 more tanks. So there's... What's that? Three tank uh, regiments? Actually, they are part of the first... It's just like a, a tank battalion there, I guess. We got the first t uh, tank regiment, tank regiment there, and second tank battalion there, one regiment part of that. Uh, we have those uh, self-propelled howitzers, 122 millimeters. Uh, mostly good versus soft targets there. They have, they're amphibious. They have weapons of mass destruction. And the tracked. Okay. And we have some en engineers moving with these guys. Truck truck engineers. Okay, we're probably gonna be stumbling upon minefields and stuff. What we got? We got some um, of these BRD BRDM slash two light recon cars here, yeah. Ten vehicles. We do have some good anti tank missile systems here. Well, decent. They're not that great, but they are. That's what we got. What's going on here? We have here we have the meat, the motorized rifle battalion here, first and second. And uh, so this is the third, third motorized uh, rifle battalion. First, 19th guard most, because these guys are guards. So is that, all right. They have artillery support, self-propelled howitzers. They have, there's some tanks attached to these guys. Uh, 38 T-64 MRR. What's the difference between them? What T-64 MRRs. These are just T-64s. Okay, I don't know my modern weaponry that well, but I, maybe that has to do with something with the targeting system or night vision fighting. They have about the same values. Actually, they have slightly better soft attack. All right, what do we got here? We have some flak, mixed ADA. Yeah, 15 vehicles, that's quite a lot. Some towed anti tank guns, 100 millimeter guns there. Some more self propelled. These are the uh, artillery regiment of the of the division there. There's some more stuff. We have rockets. We have the good old modernized Katishkas there and some more heavy artillery. What we got here we have uh, the 20th Guard Warners Rifle, 1st Motorized Battalion. Okay. They're about the same deal there. Got some uh, howitzers support. More flak defense. We have ahead the headquarters. Tack helos. We have some tanks in the back here. These these look old. 
but they're 262 MRRs as well. Look at the hard and soft. They look pretty outdated. These are like more mod uh, modernized, basically. These are like old, sort of reserved tanks there. What does it say? 20th Sep Tank Battalion. Separate Tank Battalion, probably. All right. Um, and we got something in the south here. What's this? Yeah, we have the same, those armored recons. We have T-64s with infantry and BMP-1s. And tank guns. We do have some engineers in the south as well. And some more. We got a pontoon battalion here as well. In case we need to build some bridge. What do we got? We got a we got a heavy bridge here already. This is these are rivers. These are streams. That's our first Lichtenfels. Okay. Alright. Let's have a look at what do we got? What kind of ear support? Okay, we got recon. Well, Let's have a look at this town here. See if there's anything hiding in that town. Send a recon in there. Right, we spotted something in there. Don't know what it is, but it looks like infantry. Let's uh, start reconnaissance then, I guess. Uh, let's move these guys forward a bit. What can they see here? Oh shit. Okay, we moved up to that bridge and something fired at us here. Look at that. Looks like German leopard tanks there. Double digit. Oh man. Okay, we need to cross this bridge. It's the only crossing point we got. And they're hiding up there in trenches with these badass tanks. How to deal with that? We need to pound these. We need to send some airstrikes on those guys. What do we got? We got SU-25 Frogfoot, 20 hard, 32 soft, 12 defense. What do we got here? SU-17 Fitter. Not as good. These are bombers. Okay, so we, need, we should put some SUs flying in there and attack them. Seems like we knocked the vehicle out, but that was about it. Do we have any deployed artillery that can fire? Nothing. Okay, we have nothing in range of that unit. Okay. All right, let's be careful here. Um, we need to cross. That's the tough one. We, we're we're going to be pressed on time as well. We got eight turns. Okay, let's do some recon in the north. There's right, so another heavy bridge here. Keep moving. See if we pop into anything here. Let's get our save deployment. All right, we can move pretty far. This looks like this should be defended. Okay, nothing so far. Uh, what can we see here? Well, maybe we should um, get some recon going here. Let's get recon spotting on. Look at that. Something's hiding over there. Okay. Um, let's get some stuff. Let's move the tanks up. How far can they move? Kind of maybe move them in the front there. Get them deployed. Oh, shit. We got air interdiction. Attacked by airstrikes, but we only got some fatigue on us. Deploy those tanks there. See how far we can get these guys going. They can move at about the same spot. Let's get them deployed. What else we got? We got even more armor here. Let's be careful. Let's get them maybe behind for now. They can actually move up there as well. How are we doing a stacking here? Five, we could actually get him in there. There's going to be a lot of armor concentrated in one spot there. Let's get him deployed. 
Okay, we got our artillery here. Range 8. See how far we can move and deploy them. Up here. Let's see. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, so we can, we can cover this immediate area. Let's get them up there. Deploy them. We've got our engineers. We're probably going to be needing them pretty up close. So they can only move up to here and deploy. Uh, I want to chance it a bit. I want to get them at least there. Maybe even here. Could be very dangerous though. Leave them in travel mode. It's so exposed. But they're going to be in woods. Let's chance it. All right. Let's look at the center here. Well, we've got some recon. Okay, they they could be defenses quite close here actually. Uh, what is my visibility here? Not the best. Okay, that's better. We, we can get on this high ground here. I mean, this would be the best, to be on top of this hill. We can have a good view of what's going on down here. Let's see if I can get up there. How far can I move and deploy? I can actually get up there and deploy. Let's try it. Right, we cannot perform any reconnaissance, but let's see. Can we do? No. All right, but that's a good vantage point. We can have we have a good view of the valley there. What's this? Uh, these are my um, anti-tank guided missile systems. Let's be careful with them. Got a range two. Maybe pop them up here. Oh shit! Holy crap, we got a hit there. Double-digit Leopard tanks there as well. We just lost two vehicles. That is bad. Man, there's units here as well. Maybe we can get an airstrike going on those guys. Send in some more SUs on those. Air mission intercepted by enemy SAM units. Dang. All right. Okay, we only have those weak... Now what what to do here? I mean, this is very dangerous. I mean, we're within range of double-digit leopards. But our range is also two. I wonder if we can deploy these here. Shit. Okay, we got fatigue. Maybe we can fire back there next turn if he keeps firing at us. I mean, there are anti-tank anti guided missiles anyways. I mean, you should be able to do something, right? All right, let's continue. What do we got? What do we got here? Let's see. We got a force here. We do already have... We don't have much... In, we don't have any infantry here. We have, a, like, an engineer unit. Let's see. So they are part... Maybe they should uh, move it with that group. And these, these guys will go down here. I guess we could try that. Let's get these... Uh, let's get these dudes moving in this direction here. Oh shit! Just got hit by airstrikes. Lost 18 men in disruption there. Bad news. Bad news. Right. Let's get these guys going as well. Let's get the old tanks with them. We do have lots of tanks here, but let's let's pile them up, man. Um, sure. Let's lead the charge there. What's this? All right, they have their own self-propelled artillery. Let's get that quite close up there as well. What's this? These were the anti-tank guns. Sure. Got a pretty powerful force moving in the north there. All right, well, what's going on here? Okay, we got infantry. We have a whole stack of guys here. We should get down into the valley. This is dangerous. How? Oh, what's the elevation here? 340 meters. Right, so this should this should be a good place to put something. Maybe we can get that infantry over there and deploy. Get ready to attack there. Let's get some tanks in there as well. We deploy there. Let's move up the rest of the infantry. Um, um, let's see. Do we, do we have? Any, I don't think I have any engineers at all in the center here, which is bad. 
We have an engineer there and there. We don't have any, any engineer support at all here. All right, let's get this. Let's see. Let's get them deployed here, maybe. Let's get these guys deployed on the road. I'm not sure about that. Maybe get them behind. It's going to be open terrain here anyways. What do we got? We got some artillery support. Let's get those bad boys down there. Let's deploy them maybe a bit behind. What's this? Katushkas. Uh, about the same. We do have this flak defense. We, we're probably going to be needing that. Let's get that around the artillery. What's this? Okay, we have more artillery here. Because they're part of that battery there. Okay. Let's see how far they can move. Okay, about the same there. Let's get them deployed there. But we've got our choppers, man. All right, what to do with them? We could go and attack this unit. We're going to need to get pretty close to this. We could fly over here, maybe. Very dangerous, though. Close to this place here. But we could start attacking this unit with our six choppers there. Could try it. If I can get him down here. They got guided missiles. Let's see if we can fire. So when they're in travel mode, that means they're flying. And if you click off travel mode, that means they land. This would not be a good spot to land in forests. Um, so travel mode is, is the flying mode, basically. And you can actually fly over units. You, you can fly over a unit, but you cannot fly into another enemy unit. If there's, say there's another German unit here or here, and I try to fly through. I can't cross two units, but I can cross one unit. All right, we're we're going to be. I'm going to open up fire with these choppers here. Let's attack with our anti-tank missiles. These this, these tanks in the woods. They got good defense, but we're causing fatigue. No effect. Right. Yeah, they got some good defense there. They've got the forest hex there. We've got some old tanks here. Um, well, let's just move them up here. Deploy them. What's this? We've got more artillery support. How far can they move? All right, let's get them as far up as we can. Let's deploy them there. We've got our headquarters. So this is our only headquarters. We've got one more. Let's let's have a look at the let's shade the command range in this thing. Oh man. Okay. Uh, we need to get it quite close to the action actually. How is it doing in travel mode here? Alright, we can get it quite close. Uh, maybe put it here, maybe. Cannot deploy it. This headquarters though way off um what's command range here oh man it's terrible oh yeah it's for the chopper that's right okay we need to get this thing moving man um it's not in a very good position here okay all right so they fired there okay we these guys got attacked we do have another airstrike available I want to hit them again because we need we have to cross here there's no other crossing we do have a bridge lane unit but having eight turns uh, it's probably not gonna be that good for us I mean we're not gonna get that bridge up in time probably it's time consuming I mean, if we can get the unit, I mean, building a bridge here would be useless as well because these these tanks can attack us here as well. It would be if we can get that bridge into this town, 
we could make maybe a bridge here but there could be a unit in there pretty hard decision to do here let's, let's attack this unit with our not that great bombers let's see what happens only causing fatigue there all right so it's a range of two we do have armor here that had range two we could have a little tank duel going here this recon unit though range one yeah um uh, what if I move them back one and try and get my 38 tanks up here? Probably gonna get attacked. Yep. Bam! One more tanks got smoked. Two tanks lost. Let's deploy. Let's attack. Only caused fatigue there. Hey, hey, hey. What else? What else? Uh, man, we don't have that. Okay, we do have engineers. Maybe they should do a crossing here. I guess I could try and cross with this unit in here and see what happens. Oh, shit. All right, we got mines. Dang, we got mines. Small minefield, though. But that tank unit is it's the 4th Panzer Grenadier Division. They have a um, sort of control here. Cannot move past it. We're in the minefield with nine vehicles here. Those guys are going to chew them up. Especially if they're in travel mode. Um, all right, we need to get... I think we need to get these guys out of there. They're going to get destroyed. Even if I deploy here, it's going to be very dangerous. Defense 18. I'm not even sure these guys can have a field of vision. Yeah, they do. All right. Uh, I guess I could deploy them. See what happens. All right, we got fatigue, but they're, at least they're not in travel mode anymore. We have lots of infantry that could pound in here. Um, maybe if we can secure this town with something... We could keep control of this road in case there's re reinforcements coming up. How far can these guys move? They can actually get to that town. Uh, but they cannot deploy. They can deploy just there. Okay, let's just get a unit over there. Let's get them deployed there. We can add tank guns. We definitely need them, but they're lousy. 100 millimeter anti tank guns. I'm not going to do that much versus those modern tanks there. Attack hard 14 there. Uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, I can't get them up, deploy them some. Maybe deploy them here for now. Actually, it would be good to have them deployed close to this road. They cannot move that far. They can get to about here. And they can see us. I think we need to deploy in case he bombs that place. All right, we got more infantry here, man. Let's see. Where are my engineers here? All right, how can let's get into trucks there. We can actually move right into the to the minefield there. It's probably a good thing to do. Clearing mines. Um, right, we'll get more infantry. It's dangerous. Let's, let's move an infantry unit in here. Shit, we got attacked by airstrikes. We lost seven men. Um, okay, let's just get them deployed there. Let's see if we can get these guys in there. Right, we got them there. What's this? Oh yeah, this is our, my artillery support. Uh, definitely try to get them as close as possible. Maybe here. We need to pound this area here. We get, we get the pontoon guys. See how far they can move. Not sure. 
I'm gonna be able to use them to any advantage. Let's just get him back here. We do have heavy howitzers here. They can move out quite far and deploy. Maybe get them as well here. Pretty fast deployment on those. I think that's it. That's all I can do. Do I have any firing I can do? I can fire here? Oh, look at that! I should check the, the infantry has a hard. I mean, these have hard attack range two. All right, so attack the tanks. No effect. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Do do the all my infantry have that? No, they have a range of one. Oh, I know. It's because they are in those BMs. They have more uh, modern. Tracked infantry vehicles, these BMP ones, they can fire act actually at the tank out of missiles, and they have that main gun on it. Yeah, they are in BMPs as well. What about these guys? Yeah, they have BMP twos. Twenty four. Okay, so they are actually in the better ones. There, they have. The, the, the most like modern version of it at the time, the BMT-2 there. It's got hard 24. All right. Okay. Well, that's all we can do. And I think we spent all our airstrikes. And we have no artillery available. And we probably don't have anything scheduled. No. Okay, let's end the turn. And just save it as a battle one. So I do have fast on there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? It's a Duke Gath going on there. All right, persistent chemical army was one. One out of two headquarters is out of command. Two artillery units unavailable. One's low, one unit. Zero units. So one of the units is still disrupted. Two air units recovered losses. Signet detects enemy. Yeah, this is the uh, sort of built in. How, should, how do I say that? I mean, it's sort of, um, I don't know, um, not special ops. It's, it's sort of uh, like interception of radios and uh, air reconnaissance and sort of general uh, like accumulation of enemy intel, so to speak, that you get, there's a chance that you get it. And we, we have that there's actually something in the town there and we detected something on the road as well moving there two of eight wow this is a tough battle look at that oh shit there's some attack helos coming in there some american attack helicopters looks like cobras and there was a lot of those tanks abandoned those trenches we now know that there are Panzergrenadiers in that town. Tanks are moving in. There's tanks right next to our attack choppers. This unit's still there. Lots of armor here. There's some more Panzergrenadiers there. Wow. Okay. All right, gonna end the video here, man. We're gonna pick up the action next and see how it goes. So thanks for watching there, man, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.